I wanted to make a video about how I got into the occult and magic and goth and punk and all that stuff. Um, I've made a video before about when I was a child. Uh, I don't know. I'll just introduce it again. When I was a child, I had a, uh, a death in the family. Uh, my grandfather died in front of me when I was seven. And uh, he started coming back when I was trying to go to sleep and stuff. And turned into kind of a spirit guide, holy guardian angel, whatever you want to call it. Uh, introducing other spirits. Uh, essentially, I consider it, you know, it opened a porthole and it opened uh, a lot of stuff coming in, downloads, in a lot of new age you're talking about. So a lot of, I was being essentially being uh, initiated and taught uh, how to practice necromancy uh, as a child. And uh, from seven, I was very confused, you know, and I couldn't say too much because I was afraid I was going to get put in a mental hospital. So I just dealt with it. When I got older, say 12, 13 maybe, uh, you know, I was interested in witchcraft books and everything. And th there really wasn't a lot around in the 80s. When I was a, you know, I was a child in the 70s, uh, I became, you know, a teenager, or 10 years old in 1980. Uh, there wasn't a lot around, and uh, it was discouraged. And if you had a book, you know, and you're in your in school, in high school, they would just take it away. They'd say you're a devil worshiper, you know. Um, they didn't. There was wasn't any resources like there is today at all. So the one book that I did find is this, um, the Necronomicon, which is a a book that can be controversial, uh, but it was my first occult book, and uh, it did help me a lot, believe it or not. And I'll explain how. This book helped me, the Necronomicon. Even though it's a uh, fictional, it's based on H.P. Lovecraft. Um, I believe, uh, you know, it's, it says that Simon's the author, but it could be, uh, probably, it's uh, Peter Lavenda, who's also a, a, an occult author, uh, and some other people, you know, that he got together. Uh, they actually had some real, uh, real spells from, uh, you know, the Sumerian. Uh, traditions and uh, some of that language that was lost and uh, they mixed it in and with some pop fiction and uh, let me explain to you in the next video how I use the Necronomicon to understand magic.